The second is probably the most astounding scientific exploration and conclusion ever done, and yet most of us know nothing about it. It was a great debate that was waged between Einstein on one hand and Niels Bohr on the other hand. And the debate went like this, and I'm going to put this forward very simply. Particles, are li particles of light are called photons, and photons come as pairs, as twins. And the, deba the debate was if we take the twins and we separate them by a great distance, let's call that distance half a universe. If we change the spin or the rotation of one, what will happen to its partner? Now, both men agreed if you change the rotation of one, it will change the rotation of the other because that's the way the science works. But how long would it take? Einstein said, well, nothing travels faster than the speed of light, so it will send a signal to its twin. Niels Bohr said, no, no signal is necessary. None will be sent. The universe is inseparable. It will be instantaneous. Einstein literally flipped out around this. He made comments which are often quoted, like, God doesn't play dice with the universe, or if this were true, I'd rather be a cobbler than a physicist. The debate goes on for decades, and the world of quantum physics is really divided into two separate camps. In 1962, a physicist named John Bell develops Bell's theorem, intending to prove Einstein right. And in the early 1980s, the technology came forth to determine who was right. Einstein lost. And every time this experiment has been replicated, Einstein loses. Which means, as incomprehensible as it sounds, the universe is literally inseparable. But we don't experience it that way. Why is that? We don't experience it that way because our thought divides things up. It creates separations where separations didn't exist. And then having created those separations, we come to think of the separations as real. For example, during the Millennium Celebration, I remember watching CNN and watching our planet as it turned on its axis, celebrating the birth of a new millennium. My thought was, Hmm, for this 24 hours, we're one planet. But when the celebration's over, we go back into separate nations. Nations are a product of thought. Thought created nations. Thought creates all divisions. Now, having created nations, nations are, of course, real, but it's important to remember we made it up. Thought makes it 